Hey folks, Nendo here. Today we're taking a look at each way to repair items in DayZ. This guide is designed using the chapter feature and is intended to be a resource that you can easily come back to when needed. In addition to repairs being on the timeline, the timestamps and labels can be found also in the description. If you do find this video helpful, please consider subscribing. Let's get into it. The repairing tools we're going to look at today are going to be the sewing kit, duct tape, leather sewing kit, sharpening stone, electronic repair kit, epoxy, and the weapon cleaning kit. Starting off, we have the sewing kit and duct tape. Both can repair a number of similar items, so which is better? Well, the sewing kit can patch up bleeds, whereas duct tape can repair a couple extra items and serve as handcuffs to restrain players. It's all personal preference. Both the sewing kit and duct tape can repair belts, pants, tops, backpacks, tents, gloves, ghillie suit pieces, pouches, knife sheaths, hats, and rags. In addition, duct tape can also repair cable reels, megaphones, metal and barbed wire, as well as Christmas lights. Moving on to leather sewing kits, which can repair improvised fur and leather backpacks, boots, shoes, leather jackets, chest holsters, vests, and pistol holsters. Leather sewing kits are great for keeping your armor protective. For example, if your plate carrier goes down to a badly damaged state, it's going to protect you from less shots. Repairing your armor with the leather sewing kit will help maximize its protection. The sharpening stone is going to repair most sharp edges in the game, such as knives, screwdrivers, axes, crowbars, pickaxes, machetes, and saws. One example of the usefulness of a sharpening stone can be seen if you're planning to raid a base. Hacking away at a wall will take your axe to ruined many times over. Our sharpening stone can repair the axe repeatedly to keep you chopping at that wall. Moving on to the weapon cleaning kit, which will keep your weapons, suppressors, and mags repaired. It's especially important to keep your weapon repaired to avoid jamming. The more damaged a weapon is, the more likely it's going to jam. Use that weapon cleaning kit and reduce the jamming. Epoxy will repair vehicle parts such as doors and hoods, but won't fix things such as the engine. Epoxy will also repair helmets. The better repaired your helmet is, the more protection it's going to provide. Lastly, we have the electronic repair kit. This will repair most items powered by batteries, such as scopes with red dots on them, and night vision, range finders, and field transceivers, such as walkie talkies, head torches, flashlights, universal lights, pistol flashlights, Christmas lights, cable reels, generators, spotlights, battery chargers, car and truck batteries, megaphones, as well as metal and barbed wire. All right, this should give you a good understanding of the repairable items in Daisy. This list can change time to time and it can be tweaked by the devs, but it should hold true for the majority of items. 
If you found this video helpful in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like. As always, have fun and daisy. Take it easy. Peace.